Hi everybody, I'm Kalea Youngblood, your Chief Marketing Officer here at the Austin Board of Realtors. And today we are interviewing our 2023 Board of Directors candidates. I'm here with Jonna Legrone haynes Welcome, Jonna. Thank you for joining us this morning. Jonna, let's kick it off. Why don't you give us uh, your elevator pitch? Why are you running? Who you are? What's your experience in the business? Tell your colleagues a little bit about you. Sure, sure. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be here. My name is Jonna Legrone haynes I'm a realtor with Keller Williams. I've been in the industry for 15 years, uh, mostly residential, and um, I come from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I'm here with my husband and two teenage boys, and I'm interested in running for board of directors because of, my, of the opportunity, rather, to bring together the love I have for community service and involvement, and also the... Um, um, the joy that I have in helping clients realize a goal and a dream that they have of becoming homeowners. And so most of those homeowners look like me, um, they're, or they're part of a group that is underserved or overlooked. And so I look to be that voice and provide that perspective that's missing from a lot of the conversations and decision making that's at the table. So I, I take that very seriously. Um, I, that is one of my goals is being the board, uh, board member, board director. Also, um, I've been in business for 15 years, like I said, and I'm at the point in my career that I want to be more involved. I want to be more involved um, at, a, at a different level, at a national level, at a higher level, um, and also uh, to get more involved in policy. I love that. I love and that. And then finally, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, finally tell us. Um, you know, as, as realtors, I want to, you know, help ensure that uh, we have the resources, that we have the, um, the education, and we have the protection that we need in order to do our job and provide the best service and protection for our clients as well. Wonderful. Great answer. I think one of the best qualities that we have on our board of directors is that coming from that place of servitude. So as you know, the Austin Board of Realtors, have, the, the board of directors wears two hats. We wear our association hat and then we also wear our, our MLS actress hat. And so what part of uh, the actress side of the equation mm -hmm. would you work to reinforce the value of actress and the MLS? Sure, sure. So simply um, on a day-to-day -day basis when we're interacting with our clients and with our customers, uh, reiterate to them that the MLS is the most uh, accurate, most timely, and most comprehensive information that we provide and that we share to them. And that they should really look to that information that we provide first as their trusted advisor and um, advocate and representative um, that, you know, we're, we're only going to provide them with the best information. Mm -hmm. And as a member now of three different MLSs, um, you know, I want to ensure that there's some consistency across the board as well. Okay. And so that um, there's also plenty of, um, or different ways, multiple ways to access that information so that neither one of us has to go to a different resource. Very good, yeah. Well, you know, we work off of a strategic plan. And so swapping back to the association side, what part of the ABOR strategic plan is most important to you and, and what, uh, what is most important to you that you want to see move forward into 2023? Well, um, what stood out to me um, was, of course, the, 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 the line about um, increasing our membership uh, participation as well as leadership mm -hmm. and, uh, and make sure that it mirrors the diversity of the culture of the region. Mm -hmm. um, that stood out to me, as I said before, um, you know, right now there's, there's, there's just not enough diversity um, uh, in conversations that are being had that impact all of us. Mm -hmm. And with Austin growing and becoming more diverse, um, and I've seen quite a bit of it in the last three years that I've been here, um, you know, that's important. Mm -hmm. um, we have to grow with the times. We have to um, make sure that not only do we represent the membership, but the, the, our uh, clients and, and, and um, customers as well. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's put on your hat now. So tell us what do you feel about yourself that you bring to the table that will help move the association forward? You talked about, about diversity. Are there any other facets of your uh, business interest and just you as a person that mm -hmm. you want to move forward in, and bring to the table for us? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, well, um, 15 years in the industry, um, I have a master's level degree. I have previous experience in the corporate environment, corporate world. Um, I have served on other boards. I'm a member of uh, several national organizations. I have, have had a lot of experience uh, working alongside smaller community organizations. 
Um, I was a part-time realtor. I started off as a part-time realtor. I'm okay. full-time now. Okay. Um, I moved here from North Texas. I raised a family in Texas, um, but I've lived in other metropolitan areas, but now I live here in Austin. And so I think that fresh perspective, those fresh eyes, mm -hmm. um, just the different viewpoint, um, I, I, I'm sure that those, my varied background and experiences will prove very valuable um, in helping move the board forward. Awesome, that's a great answer. So um, we're going through some changes. The industry is going through some changes. Um, what do you feel is the biggest challenge in the real estate industry? What should A-born actors be doing? Tell us a little bit about, from your perspective, where are our challenges and, and where do we need to be focused? Well, I think um, one of the more obvious challenges right now is affordability. Mm -hmm. um, Austin has um, become uh, one of those top cities that have become unaffordable, um, whereas before Texas was, was the place where a lot of people were moving to because of affordability. So we know that that's changed, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so because of that, the, the outline areas are, beco are becoming more attractive by default. Um, that's going to impact um, schools, transportation, retail, and of course home ownership. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we just need to uh, continue to find opportunities to partner with other organizations, other uh, governing bodies, what have you, in order to, to address that. I've had several clients who had to change their search uh, because mm -hmm. they just couldn't afford, their budget uh, wouldn't allow them to purchase here. And then those who uh, had the budget just didn't see the value in the property. So, you know, what can we do about that? Um, um, we just, you know, we want to bring people back to Austin. We want to have opportunities for everyone. And whether that's uh, affordability programs or affordability ho housing, we need to, you know, look at that and see what opportunities exist. Wonderful. It sounds like you are uh, deep in our advocacy <laughs> arm as well here at ABOR. Okay, so lastly, Jonna, um, as we close out our interview today, what do you think that you want your colleagues to know about you that you bring to the table um, as they consider their vote for the 2023 Board of Directors election? Sure. Well, um, again, this is an honor. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be considered. And if I am voted to the Board of Directors, just know that I will be a voice for those who are often um, not heard at the table when it comes to important discussions and decision making. Also, um, I feel like that I represent a lot of the, the, the membership um, and I hope that you see yourself in me and know that I will be your liaison and that I am an open book, I am approachable and if you have questions, concerns, um, please reach out to me and know that I will be um, your voice as well. Um, finally, Austin, Austin is growing. Um, it's, it's changing, it's becoming more diverse. We need more diversity um, in this role, in, in ABOR, and um, I, I, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you for again for joining us, Jonna. Uh, all of you, don't forget to vote. Uh, votes will be live September 19th to the 21st, closing at 5 p.m., and we look forward to welcoming our 2023 Board of Directors slate.